Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all ages, me, Die Chant here, Sam's like to be known as giving you a FIFA 13 national ultimate team for, for the price of free. I have three national teams um, playing in this um, national team because um, they're not big enough countries and um, they're all neighbouring each other. So um, this is a Latvian, Estonian and Lithuanian team. If you don't know where these countries are, they're neighbouring each other in Eastern European, Eastern Europe really, but... Um, um, yeah, they're, they're a pretty good team. Um, I think the good thing about this team, their mix uh, ability um, as well. So um, if you see, I'm playing a 5-2-3 um, with wing backs as well, the right wing back and the left wing wing back as well, and I'm playing two midfielders. Um, so this team's a very good defensive wise, the attacking team and all that, and uh, very attacking as well with the two three strikers we got up front. One's really tall and um, he arms the ball up well and all that lot. So I will tell you how much these players cost and um, where, what countries they come from and what's their um, what's ability they are. So um, so guys, enjoy at the ride. And here we go. We've got Andres Valles, who plays for SC Solon, who cost me 150 coins. And uh, pretty all right goalkeeper. Um, you know, with the reflexes, he's been his most um, reflexes and he's... Handling is probably his good um, attribute, so um, use that attributes well. Um, he's he must be in his late he must be in his late thirties now. Um, good solid goalkeeper though, and um, for that for um, that for goalkeeper as well. So he's a very good st standard goalkeeper. I would highly recommend him. Um, he just just beat my other goalkeeper, but the uh, my other goalkeeper on reserve bench hasn't got a really good. Um, Reflexes, so reflexes is a really good thing about this um, thing as well, and he's got a three-star weak foot, so um, that's good if he's, um, you know, getting close down. He can use his left foot rather than his right foot, maybe. And um, he's a right foot, by the way, guys. So just to point that out with you, he's got hasn't got really a good right foot. He doesn't kick it really hard enough, as I say. Moving on to my next player, and he's from Estonia. He plays in the Norway league, and um, he's pretty much a really crappy player <laughs> no you're joking he's alright player um, he's he's quite young as well um, Tajo Tennis uh, I think that's how you represent his name 150 coins again um, quite um, left footed player left wing back he's playing in that position and with a two scar skill moves and three star f a weak foot he's alright um, you know pretty alright stats his pace is what makes him you know good kind of so to speak but he's qu quite young um, probably in a year's time he'll probably be on the 60 rating but you know from that but he's a good player no he plays for, he's an Estonian player and um, plays in the Norway league as well so um, you know pretty much a alright player for my kind of standards um, he's not that he's quite easy to get past but uh, with the five man defence it's um, pretty good to players to get back as quickly as possible as well my next player um, plays in the Serie A league for Lazio. He's from Lithuania. Just quick look about this one. No, oh, I don't know why I switched him, but um, he cost me 300 coins. 300 coins for a player. Um, for, he's my only goal player in the league team actually, and um, that's quite worrying, to say the least. But actually, um, he's actually pretty all right. He's you know pretty average for the age of his ability, and um, his pace not really good. Um, Marco. Marius Savakius, I think that's how you spell Savakius, Savankius. I, I just don't know. I'm not. I don't speak Lithuanian. But his heading defending is the best thing about him. And so um, when I play, when I played a couple games, I've actually played. Um, we have sadly haven't got the goals with me because we're recording at the moment in time. But um, he was really good heading defending um, with the three centre back, the other two centre backs as well. And that really does help you out when um, teams are quite pacey and um, they want to cross the ball over the top of your defenders. Next player we have is Kaspar Skorks, who plays for Reading, the Barclays Premier League. Um, last year he did play for QPR, but now he plays for um, Reading now, and he's a 500 coins I bought him for. Maybe a bit too expensive, but you know, two star weak foot and two star skill move. Six foot three for defender. Um, again, like his um, other centre back, he's got a good heading defending. That's what you want from him. Um, 500 coins, maybe. I've seen him a bit cheaper though, guys, so um, that. Uh, this is my, my next player is Mario Zakoukas, who plays for Hearts in the SBL in Scotland. He's my most expensive player because he's quite rare. Three star skill, uh, weak foot and two star skill moves. Six foot three and uh, two thousand coins, guys. Really hard, but his pace is what makes him count. Pace, heading, defending is good. So his pace is some seventy-one, guys. And he's got 
um, dribbling, um, defending of 72 and heading of 73. So pretty much good. Uh, my next player, who's from Estonia, and um, he plays in the Norway league again. But this guy, he's probably my best free kick taker, Edgar Javaga. And um, he scored two goals for me already this season. And um, three-star skill, um, weak foot, and two-star defending. But then you look at his paces and, and defending heading. He's pretty right, but he's got a free kick of 87, guys. So really use that, guys. 87. If you've got a free kick and you're playing, doing a Norway league team or a Norway te league or one Estonian league team, you should really play with this guy because he's got really good free kick guys, he's scored two good free kicks for me already, and free kicks hard, next one I've got Ali Agdras Kuna, I think that Kuna, is that Kuna, or something, I don't know, he's from Latvia, he plays in the Russian league for CSK Moscow, and for 150 coins, he's got a three star um, skill move and two star defending, but his pace is what I mean, makes him good, um, links up well with the strikers as well, he's um, quite, um, he wants to be up the, up the front all the time, and um, he does well when he needs to, and um, defensive-wise, he never gives up, and he's always um, brilliant. Well, 150 coins, you can't really go wrong for this guy, and um, he's pretty much a beast. Um, I don't know why he's ranked 68. Um, I think he should be at least 72. Next one, I've got Joe Belebert, Le Pair, who plays in the MLS for um, New York Red Bulls um, in America, or the States, and um, left-footed player. He's got three stars, weak sh shot, and um, three star skill moves. Um, 150 coins again for this guy. Not really good. He's a bit tight. He gets a bit tired after a while. He does like after like six, 20 minutes, 30 minutes to go when he get like the, it's important about the game and um, you know pretty all right stats, but passing, dribbling is best attributes. But you should use him well. He's good link up for Next one is Hendrik Ajama, and um, he is cost 600 coins again. Um, plays for Motherwell in the Scottish League in Scotland, SBL. And um, three star skill moves and three star weak foot. Um, six foot, he is the pace of him. 80, a good pace, 81 pace. Um, he's got a good right shot on him as well. So he is really good for, um, you know, pressurizing your the defenders. Normally, when I play this game lately, um, we get a play against bronze defenders, and it's quite funny when they're just, they can't catch up on me. So um, he's pretty much a good player, and um, his first season in Scotland. Next one is Tamas the Darukius. Um, he's six foot three. He plays in the Serie B T Serie B team it's a uh, second league of Italian um, that's why it's called the Serie B team um, his heading is 82 and that's the only good thing about him 67 overall uh, his pace is 55 he's got shot of 65 but really a terrible player to my eyes at my eyes but he, get, he holds the ball up well and um, that's what you need from him the Lithuanian does next one is Ardraf Rivers who used to play in the Polish league now he's made this big step forward to go to Hamburg in the German league the Latvian has really good player five star weak foot and this is what I love about this guy he's got a good pace as well and good headering now 76 pace 70 headering and he's a quick individual 1600 coins he will cost you guys so um, enjoy him well and the last guy cost me 250 by the way guys if I didn't say that now let's go on to the bench guys quickly as I can next I have Sergei Pegrov um, he plays in the Polish league and 150 coins the Estonian does and um, he's getting old a bit but um, he just is not he, his reflexes are not really that good and I think that's what makes him a bit of a downfall for my team because I rather had the other guy playing for my team next one I have is a Lithuanian player who plays in the German second tier of German football and his name is Marcos Piesios and um, pretty alright 150 coins um, pace is not really good but you know he's only there in case one of my centre backs get injured or if I might put him in the wing back just to solid my defence up a little bit but um, you know he, like, like these kind of countries they're not that big country wise and they, their national sport is probably not like football or soccer um, so um, we're not going to have the, like, the best players but you know that next player I have of course is my midfielder Davias Sibirius um, he's from Lithuania he plays in the Syri he plays in the he plays in the Russian league of course and uh, with that Russian name I can't pronounce because I probably offend someone but he's all right he's a hundred fifty two hundred and fifty coins I don't I don't know why I bought him 250 coins he's quite cheap you can buy him for next one is Ragar Kavulia who plays in for FC Augsburg in German Germany in the Bundesliga 150 coins all right player the Estonian is and um, he's, he's pretty much one of their best players um, 
he's all right if like there's an injury going on or if I want to shore up the defence if I'm winning two nil maybe and you know I want to see the game out really. So he's normally all right if you want to put like six players in the back or something, for example. But I don't know who does that. Next player is Madros Paranka, who is 150 coins from Estonia, um, not Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, and um, he plays in the Polish league of course, and um, he's pretty much all right. And uh, 150 coins um, for Bronzy. Next one is Tamo Kink, who actually used to play for Middlesbrough in the, in the Championship. He moved to Serie B team um, in Italy, Vienna, Vienna, and 150 coins he cost me, or 200, I can't really see on the screen on the screen I'm using, but I'm um, pretty much beast, he's got a good header in. Next one is Javias Cerisus, who has 150, um, costs 150. His skill move is 4, so that's good, and his pace is super good. Um, he's pretty good if you want to... I was going to put him up front instead of um, the guy who's six foot three, but uh, it was my choice. I kind of wanted someone who's going to hold the ball up a little bit. So, guys, if you enjoy this thing and look at my grand total of 7,300 for this team, um, pretty much a beast team. Uh, the only problem I have with this team is just the sheer lack of players I don't really have, and uh, I had to you know, make some really good searches for them and like on Google, and people help me on Twitter, but guys, if you like this, like, comment, and subscribe, guys, if you are new, and if you're from Estonia, Latvia, or Lithuania, say hi, and who was your favourite player, guys? My next team will be a Scottish team, national team, so thanks, guys, bye.